Hey everybody, this is Josh, call sign Banger. We're here today with the Amped Airsoft $500 mystery box. Um, been meaning to get one of these for quite a while. Uh, haven't gotten an amp box yet. Decided to just go big right off the bat. They do offer a $1,000 one as well. Wasn't quite trying to go that big, but we got the 500. Actually just went to their uh, Bolt Bash, um, their little uh, yearly swap meet slash get together at their shop down in Pittsburgh, um, which was pretty awesome. Got a whole bunch of stuff, separate video coming soon on that. So make sure to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to uh, get all the notifications for when uh, that video drops. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's get into this thing. We're going to use the uh, AK Magazine from the $100 mystery box that we got from Team Shadow Airsoft to open this bad boy. Let's see, what edge seems sharpest? I, th I think the, the old AK lip. You'll notice it's a fairly small box for being a $500 mystery box and, and that actually excites me because uh, what I asked for was uh, was a good backup SMG style sidearm I could maybe fit in a backpack to go with my LMGs. So uh, you know narrowed their window a little bit and looks like they might have come up with something. So let's see what we got. paper, packing list, we don't want to look at that. Uh, we have the G and G armaments ARP uh, ARP 9 3.0 and apparently this is the MIG enhanced model. I'm not really sure what the uh, Enhanced, but it says it's got a uh, do do MOSFET integrated uh, gearbox, maximum capacity 68 round short magazine. So that's actually a kind of cool. Oh, four channel converting, so it's a kind of small uh, or a short magazine that still holds a little bit because it's four uh, four stacks feeding into one. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what we got in here. Well, I think you can get the box out of the way. We've got a pretty awesome LBX multi-cam black backpack. Always love some multi-cam black because, uh, well, you know, it's uh, just the most awesome useless camo pattern in existence. And, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to assume this is the, the gun, so let me figure out what's in the box. They threw me off. They threw me off. They had some weight in the box, so I thought the box was still the gun and there was some other stuff chilling in the backpack. But apparently the uh, gun ended up in the backpack. And then we have some uh, accessories here. We have... A nice, uh, looks like Ammo Max single point black tactical sling. We have a pretty awesome little uh, shellback tactical little mini pouch. Ooh, it's an awesome fold out, but that's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a dump pouch that folds up into such a small pouch. That is actually super awesome. This is a dump pouch or you can use it as a water bottle pouch because we have a nice camelback water bottle in there as well. Got to stay hydrated in the field. Always handy. We have an Amped Airsoft keychain. We have an Amped Airsoft dead rag. 
much. Do, do, do. We have. Looks like a site of some sort. Oh, flip up site protector. Okay. Because I figure, uh, you know, I said I'd be using it for some CQB environments using the LMGs. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely makes sense. Get a uh, um, little flip up site protector to keep whatever optic we get on there safe. Oh, we got a nice modify. Uh, that's actually my, my favorite type of bucking, the modify. Uh, I can never batten Resuku. Uh, but yeah, those are awesome. Come with a flat hop nub with them. Definitely, definitely what I put in just about everything I use anyway. Nice little uh, shorty Elite Force um, battery. I assume to fit in our very small battery compartment wherever the heck it happens to be on this thing being a pretty small gun we've got the magazine that comes with it the 68 round quad stack and then we have an additional g and g arp9 mag in there we have an awesome ankylosaurus uh skeleton Cutie sling point. I'm not sure if that comes with the gun, but it's got some cutie mounts on it, so maybe. We've got a package of M&Ms, because, you know, Halloween just passed, so trick or treat, right? Set that back in there for a second. It feels like we got something else in here, too. Yep, absolutely. We got a Lancer Tactical Sight. I assume this is one of the T1 style red dots. Um, I don't see a, an actual product description. They've got a couple that come in these, but I assume it's just one of the little T1 style. They're uh, taped up like crazy, but that'll look good right up on the top of that for sure. Make sure they didn't hide anything else on me here that I'm not, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to not give them credit for sending me something that they sent. You know. All right, I think that's everything. So I think we can finally get down there and go. Open up the stock. It's nice all polymer, so it's a nice lightweight build, but G&G's polymer is always super solid. Um, I like the shorty mag because obviously I'm not going to be using it in situations where I got to fire a lot. Um, you know, it's just kind of, okay, let's clear a couple rooms real quick, make sure this building's secure. And uh, so I'm not going to really need to shoot a lot and it'll fit with the mag in. It's not any longer than the grip, so it'll still fit in the backpack with the mag in, which is awesome. Got the G&G flip-up sights. Got the kind of Radian Raptor ambidextrous style charging handle, uh, door stays open, bolt catch does the thing, cover actually works, kind of a cool little stylized polymer dust cover, um, nice little folding stock, just a button on one side and then it's just kind of friction held once it's open, just flops back open, or flops back closed. Um, Everything just really mates up really well. Like this just looks like a really well-made gun. Um, and like I said, super light. So it's really perfect for what I'm looking to do with it. It does look like we have some metal um, on the stock. The, uh, can not tell if the hinge? No, it seems like the hinge is polymer. But the, uh, the section of the stock right here that uh, comes back towards your shoulder, um, you know, where, where your buffer tube would be on a normal M4 is, uh, is metal. So that gives it a little, little weight towards the back. So it's actually got a really nice balance to it once it's on your shoulder. Um, definitely an awesome little sidearm and exactly what I asked for. And even a backpack that it'll fit in. So I don't think I could ask for much more than that. Um... Yeah, thanks, Ant. Um, definitely a win as far as I'm concerned. Uh, these LBX backpacks aren't cheap, and I'm pretty sure the ARPs are over 300 themselves. So I'm sure with everything else we got included in here, we're definitely over our $500 value. I know Amp's always pretty, uh, pretty good with the values. Oh yeah, there's the uh, 
$107 ticket on the backpack right there. So, uh, yeah, those definitely, definitely aren't a cheapy backpack. Those are uh, a, a nice, solid little day pack. And uh, lots of Velcro space, which is always important for the fashion show that is Airsoft. Um, so yeah, definitely an awesome box, uh, super happy with everything I got, definitely going to be getting some more from Amped in the future. Um, thanks for watching guys, have a great night, as always we'll see you on the next one, bye.